In this tutorial, we're going to look at running our first Spring Boot app using the Spring Tool Suite. The Spring Tool Suite, or STS for short, is an Eclipse-based development environment that is customized for developing Spring applications. It provides a ready-to-use environment to implement, debug, run, and deploy your Spring applications. So to get started, we're going to head over to spring.io slash tools. And about halfway down the page is the download link. At the time of this recording, the current release is 3.7.1. When you download this, I have already done so. It's just a zip file that we're going to extract to somewhere on our hard drive. I've actually extracted it to the C drive. So we're just going to head over to C STS. Inside the STS bundle, there's a release folder. And inside the release folder, there is an application. This is really just an EXE. There is no install for, an, for Eclipse or any Eclipse-based IDEs. You just run it by double-clicking on this application. You can run it here every time, or something I like to do is just go ahead and pin this to like the Start menu or the Task Bar. Uh, um, I like running mine right here from the Task Bar. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this, and that's going to launch Spring Tool Suite. And the first thing that it's going to ask us to do is to pick a workspace. Uh, workspace is just where uh, our projects are stored. And I'm going to leave it on the default workspace, work, workspace and click OK. So from here, when this launches, what we're going to do is take a look at creating our first Spring Boot application using the Spring Initializer. It's the same Spring Initializer that can be found at start.spring.io. It's just baked right into here, uh, right into STS, which is really nice to have. So when Spring Tool Suite first launches, we should see a dashboard. The dashboard has some news feeds in here, uh, basically has some tooling updates, anything to do with the, the STS stuff. And it has news, and this is all coming from spring.io. And then there is a get started on the right side here. One of them is create a spring starter project. And that's what we're going to do today. So let's click on that. This is going to bring up a nice window with a bunch of properties we need to fill in. So we're creating a hello spring app. So let's go ahead and type hello spring. Uh, the group and package usually are the same and they're just reverse DNS. These don't matter at this point. You could probably just leave all of this. Uh, default, but I'm going to fill this in anyway. Um, okay, so with that filled out, this is a Maven project. We're using Java version 1.8. We're packaging jar and we're using the Java language. Next, we're going to choose next. What type of, what version of boot we're going to use? I'm actually going to use the latest um, milestone here, 1.3 and 5. And the reason I want to use this is because we're going to do a web project. And I'm also going to look in core here. And I want to include dev tools because I want to show you a neat little trick. So we're going to click next, finish. And what this is going to do is run out to start.spring.io, uh, figure out what, what items you wanted included in this project. For us, we included DevTools and WebMVC. And it's going to go out and build that zip. And then it's basically downloading that zip and unpacking that zip into a project. And so when that project comes up, again, this was a Maven project. So, so the first thing we'll see is there will be a POM file there that we can look at. And this should close out now. So let's open up our project. Like I said before, there's that POM file. This is going to be our, all right. Uh, if we jump over to POM.xml, we'll see our dependencies listed here. We basically have our DevTools dependencies and our Spring Boot Starter Web. So let's jump into some source. So under source main Java, we have our default package name that we set up, and we have our hello spring application.java. So this is our main file that we're going to run. Um, at this time, there is nothing really to run. 
So let's go ahead and create a controller. I'm going to I just wanted to create another package for that. You don't really have to. I guess we could have just stuck it in the default package there, but why not? So here we're going to create a new class. This is just going to be called our home controller. Click finish. All right, so we're going to define this as a controller. And let's create a method here. So we are going to use home. We want to return hello oops, spring boot and quest mapping. So if we ran this as is, this is not going to work um, because by default. So by default, it's going to look, because this is a controller, uh, the default view resolver is going to try and pull in a file called hello spring boot. That's just not going to work. So we could change this to a rest controller, or you can just add response body here. And again, if you don't know anything about spring yet, don't worry about it. This is just an introduction how to get us up and running in STS. So I'm going to save that off and we're going to go ahead and run this. So to run that, we're going to open up our main file here and we're going to, we can either right click or we can go to the menu and run. So I'm going to run as a Spring Boot app. And if we look at the console output here, you're going to see Spring Boot start up. And one of these mappings down here is going to be just the, the root mapping and it's going to map to our home controller. So as we get into here, you'll see mapped that to our home controller, started Hello Spring application. So we should be able to go and run it now. So let's jump over to localhost 8080. Oops. And there is our Hello Spring boot. Now, one thing we did is we included dev tools and that kind of helps us with reloading. So I want to go ahead and create a new public string hello. Return hello Dan. So I'm just going to copy this. Okay, so I'm gonna save that off and now you'll see that because we have dev tools included in our project, you see down in the console, it just kind of restarted for us because it saw a change to our controller. So we're gonna actually jump back in and just go to our hello. And there's hello Dan. So I hope that helped. This is just an introduction on running your first Spring Boot app using Spring Tool Suite. Uh, so if you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks.